Hello, YouTubers. Usually the person on your screen would say welcome back at this point, um, but it's really a welcome back for me because I haven't posted a video on YouTube in eight years. And of course, with the pandemic and quarantine and the world the way it is, we're all rediscovering the kinds of things that actually make us happy, or at least the kinds of activities we can do in our houses that make us happy. Even though I can't go out into the world and be seen, clothes and bright colors continue to be something that brings me a lot of joy. So today I wanted to give you a tour of my wardrobe. My wardrobe consists of one chest of drawers, two underbed drawers, and my closet. We'll start with the closet because that's where the fun stuff is. So as you might be able to tell, this closet is super narrow. Uh, and only has this one rack built in at the back. This used to be part of a hallway, and then before we moved here, this wall was added. So what I did was I bought this rolling rack at the Herbergers, Herbergers, when they were closing, so I got it at quite a discount. We have all of my blouses and collared shirts, tops that I want to hang up so they don't get wrinkled. And then on the lower bar, I have crop tops and jackets. What I can do is, if I really want to look at everything without being cramped in here, I can actually pull this out and have a view of all the things. You can see from all the empty hangers that I recently did a clean out. So all that's left is my favorites. These two are both from Mod Cloth. I love this color blue. I would keep my hair this color blue 24-7 forever uh, if it wasn't so much work. But this is my favorite color. I love these shirts. They're so flowy and comfy. A lot of people don't like shirts like this that are made out of polyester because they don't breathe. Um, and they're clearly meant to look like summery clothes, probably intended to imitate silk, which is actually breathable and comfy in the summer. But I don't mind it actually because I am cold all the time. So something that actually keeps me a little bit warmer, but I can still look like I'm enjoying, you know, the 70 degree weather works well for me and I save money. This one is from Unique Vintage. It's a little brand called The Moon that I don't think usually makes stuff that's this vampy. It has this fun, almost tartan looking detail in the pattern. Getting this blouse is what made me realize that I adore this style with the big poofy sleeves and all of the ruffle detail right in the middle. Almost almost 70s uh, tuxedo ruffles, but much more elegant, much more Victorian almost. So having discovered that I love this one so much, I got this one, which is actually Kate Spade, but it was on super clearance. And this is much more like a combination of my vampire tendencies and uh, my love of extremely loud colors. Don't laugh, but this is one of my favorite evening shirts. It's from Costco. <laughs> the machine wash and dry, it drapes super nice. It was a hand-me-down from my mom. It's comfy, like what's not to like? Out of my crop tops, this one I got at a Plato's Closet, originally Forever 21, because duh. Obviously super colorful, comfy, and doesn't like ride up. I'm not going to keep a crop top if it's going to defy gravity and I need to yank on it all day. This is a fun one. I got it on clearance from the prom dress section of like a Macy's from that year when prom dress, the, the, the like prom dress fashion was like a, a big skirt and a crop top. So I bought both, but I just wear them separately. I wear this with just like some jeans or even a pencil skirt for going out and no one's any the wiser that it was supposed to be a, a prom ensemble. This one was probably my only real t-shirt DIY crop top project. You can see I, I cut the crew neck out and the sleeves are shorter and I chopped the bottom off. And then on the back, I actually cut down the center and hemmed the two sides added eyelets, and then this cute little ribbon. 
So it's kind of like a corset bag, but it's a little cutesier because of the polka dots. And I love me some polka dots. So yeah, that was a fun project. And bonus points, I will love you forever, to anyone in the comments who can tell me what this is, and even better, where this t-shirt is from. No hints. My absolute favorite from the jacket section uh, was also from a Plato's Closet, but a different one. This is Ralph Lauren. Why is it pronounced Lauren? Anyway, it's a yellow denim motorcycle jacket, and it has all this fun hardware. I have it like that for storage, but it has the, the asymmetric zipper. This is my other favorite color. I love lemon yellow. It's so happy. This is a way for me to like marry my bright color tendencies and my punk or darker tendencies in one item. Let's look at dresses. Okay, figuring out where to put the camera so you can see into this tiny closet is a trip. <laughs> Let's start on the skirts end. This is the other half of that prom twin set thing that I showed you the crop top from earlier. So it's this huge skirt. It doesn't have any lining or petticoats or anything, but just from the structure of the fabric, it makes quite a big um, shape. And I love the graphic black and white. It has a little bit of bead detailing on top. You can wear it with like a really formal blouse, something black for those days when you're feeling spooky. I'll often wear it with just a graphic t-shirt because why the hell not? It's actually quite comfortable. It's not heavy. So yeah, I guess what I'm saying is check the clearance prom section. I have, an, I have a, um, a floor length skirt from Express and again, this wonderful blue color, but I really don't wear it that often because it's, it's really hard to hide underwear lines under this kind of thin jersey, but I can't get rid of it because I just love this color. So these, I don't know, these like multi-skirt racks are great for saving space, less great if you're like me and you're really visual and you need to like take items and put them next to each other to see if they're going to work in an outfit, it's kind of a pain in the butt to get them off of this to do that or to even see all the things that you have. But I want to point out these bottom three skirts. So you have this awesome Halloween candy corn one, this navy velour one, and this calf length knife pleated one that's printed with leaves. You can tell I love blue. Um, they are all from Mod Cloth and they have held up super well. Yeah, I just love them. This top one actually, which I would wear more if we could uh, get done with this pandemic sometime soon, uh, I actually bought at a random shop in Spain when I was on study abroad. It must not have been more than like 15 euros. I mean, it's super cheap, but somehow it has managed to hold up. I mean, again, I'm not wearing it that often. There, I can say I have a sequin mini skirt. Check that box. So way over here, we have my brightest dresses. This, again, lemon yellow. Uh, I think originally from Old Navy. Yes, but I got at Plato's Closet for, I don't know, less than $10. I wore it for Halloween one time as Joy from Inside Out. I mean, come on, this is the most joyful item of clothing that has ever lived. We have this fun green one, again, with the blue. <laughs> this was actually a gift from a friend. Obviously, I'm gonna have this. This is a cool, very 60s one that I got from a Buffalo Exchange. It's very clearly sewn by hand. It's really thick, kind of a waffle, and it just drapes so nicely. Yeah, I just love it. And then another navy item. This is, this is my only jumpsuit. Again, from Mod Cloth, it has big, wide legs. It's comfy and you can totally wear it to work. I like layering some of those like big poofy sleeve blouses under it or wearing it as is. I have a lemon yellow belt that I like to wear it with. I'm willing to put up with the fact that you have to undo a back zipper every time you go to the bathroom. I didn't think I'd ever be someone who owns like a full length jumpsuit, but here we are. Ooh, I love this dress. This one, wow, again, from Mod Cloth. It's a size four, which I don't think I've ever been a size four in my life, so they run a little big. But it's this beautiful purple color, and it's a shiny satin, and it has this pleather detail along the neckline, which is probably my favorite part about it. I've worn it to work, I've worn it on dates. Yeah, just fab. Last thing I want to highlight from the daytime section 
is possibly the best thing I have ever gotten from Mod Cloth ever. No, they are not sponsoring this video, but gee, I sure like them, don't I? It is this uh, long cat romper. It has fabric covered buttons and this cute little collar at the top. It has this little mesh see-through portion along the shoulders. Super, super cute, super comfortable. I'm gonna wear this thing until it absolutely falls apart. I've had it for years and years. It might have been the first thing I ever bought from Mod Cloth and I just adore it. From the evening section, I only want to really highlight this insane, what is going on, big tassely golden black dress. It's from a store in New York City. I was only in New York City for a work trip. It was the only store in Soho, which is south of Houston Street. I didn't know what that meant either until I was there. The only store that had clothes anywhere near an affordable range. And this was probably less than $20. I mean, it's made super cheaply. I've had to repair this gold chain almost every time that I've washed it because little pieces will come unlinked. It has just a simple black underneath and then the tassels are all attached along the, the uh, armholes and the neckline. And so they're two, three feet long and it's twirly and fun. Yeah, so I guess I'm willing to put up with the maintenance of this cheapo dress. And that's it for the closet. Okay. In the dresser, we have undies and shorts for wearing under short dresses. Second drawer is t-shirts and camis. I do the fold towards the middle and roll into a little burrito method and that allows me to see all of them. I struggle with remembering all of the things that I have so this really helps me. The first two columns are graphic tees in rainbow order so we have blacks and neutrals, white and then kind of rainbow order over here. Third row is solid color tees or tees with like a just a stripe or this one's tie-dye. Um, this one is black and white stripes. And then the last row here is camis and I have one tank top. Next we have long sleeve t-shirts and thin sweaters and then a little bit of the thicker sweaters. Although you see in a minute that I have a couple that were so big and bulky they did not fit in these drawers. They wouldn't fit in one of these drawers even if the drawer was empty. A couple of my favorites out of here. We have this raglan three-quarter sleeve from uh, Young the Giant's Home of the Strange tour, which gosh, was several years ago now. Another three-quarter sleeve. This one's a sweater with a stegosaurus on it. We have this rather wrinkly tunic, again from Mod Cloth years ago. Um, it's rainbow. It's quite thin, so not great for warmth. I'm not really wearing this when I want to be warm. I'm wearing it when I want to be a rainbow. We have this one from a nameless brand, but it has Gigi from Kiki's Delivery Service on it and these awesome stripy sleeves. This one is probably the softest sweater I have. I mentioned before how much I love polka dots. This is actually from Charming Charlie, RIP. This one is mid-layers that are zip-up or button-up. I have um, a couple little crop sweaters for throwing over sleeveless dresses and stuff when I worked in a business casual office, which is always a little chilly. So we have a couple colors of crop sweater for that. This one um, is real wool that my mom knitted for me, which is very sweet and is oh so warm despite being short sleeve. Highlight of this drawer has to be the vintage Hot Topic Sonic the Hedgehog hoodie. Oh my gosh, this thing is well over a decade old. bottom drawer, we got socks and tights. The sock drawer I keep organized by athletic socks, ankle socks, um, trouser socks, 
Way in the back there are knee highs, and then I have a shoe box tucked in here with all of my tights. Winter socks that are just too bulky for everything uh, live in a box that I only pull out in the cold months. Same with winter hats. On top of the dresser we have static guard because, as we've seen, I'm, I wear a lot of synthetics and it gets pretty staticky. A hat for those spooky days, and a lonely sock. I think the other one is probably still in the wash somewhere. This is the pants and shorts drawer. And I know you're thinking, what in the world is going on in here? But similar to my t-shirt drawer, I needed a way to be able to see at a glance everything that I own. So rolling everything up and shoving it in here sideways allows me to do just that. Um, right now it's organized by color, but I kind of go back and forth between that and organized by style, like all my jeans in one place, all my skinny colored pants in one place, all the shorts in one place. For whatever reason, I thought I'd change it, and I don't know. I, I think I prefer it that way, but I wanted to try out organizing by color. So some favorites out of here would definitely have to be these gray skinny jeans. They were originally from Express, but I got them at a Plato's Closet the same day that I got the yellow motorcycle jacket, and I have definitely worn them together. Gray is my favorite neutral, especially this kind of light, cool gray, and it goes with really anything in my wardrobe. They're also stretchy, they're pretty soft, unlike the rather stiff green ones I'm wearing right now. Another favorite from a shop that I don't really necessarily want to promote, but you can't really find these anywhere else. These are kind of robot cyborg sheer leggings from Dolls Kill. They had a uh, crop top and a kind of shrug with long sleeves that goes with them. These are cooler than I am, really. <laughs> you do, of course, have to wear flesh-colored underwear because these are quite sheer. I also have a couple really loud pairs of shorts. These were from ThreadUp. They're uh, J. Crew originally. And what I like to do with tailored shorts like this is wear them with tights underneath in the same color. So I'll do that with these blue ones. I have a black pair and I have kind of this coral red pair. And then I don't have that many jeans. I have two pairs of kind of boot cut, just a dark wash. I kind of only like dark wash jeans. And then I have one other pair um, for American Eagle that are skinny, uh, these guys. But honestly, I don't wear jeans that much. I mean, maybe that's the pandemic talking. This drawer is my workout gear, workout pants and shorts, tops, my hoodies, and those oversized sweaters that were so big they would not fit in my regular sweater drawer. Last but not least, we have my wall of scarves. They're arranged by cold weather and warm weather. Pikachu, of course. This is just a curtain rod that I've attached to the wall so that I could see all of my scarves. And also, it's way easier to grab one and go off of this bar on the wall rather than um, stuffed in a bin in my closet like they were before and everything would come flying out when I tried to grab just one. Phew! That is it. I hope you've enjoyed this tour of my wardrobe. I hope that provided some inspiration to you on how to organize your closet, and I'll see you next time. Bye! I am fully aware that I look like the lead singer from AFI today, but um, I am in the process of growing out my mohawk, and uh, this is what that looks like.